A critic does not consist in saying that things aren't good the way they are. It consists in seeing on just what type of assumptions, of familiar notions, of established and unexamined ways of thinking the accepted practices are based. To do criticism is to make harder those acts which are now too easy. Yeah. Oh, hello there. It's Tuesday. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's time for English for academic and professional purposes. I am Tutor Alvin. And I am Tutor Aaron. And we are your AF buddies for e 2 Lai online tutorial session at this hour. All right. So hello and good afternoon to I. To our AF Phenomenal students and to you, Tutor Aaron, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, Tutor Alvin. It's actually nice again to see you and to see and to be with us here, uh, to be here with our um, AF Phenomenal buddies. But why don't we go to our AF feeling? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about what do we feel right now this Tuesday. Yeah, and that's the, the next part of our presentation. All yes, right. so everyone, how are you feeling today? How is your Tuesday? We always want to hear your voice and your feeling because that actually excites us uh, every Tuesday. Do you feel happy? Do you feel sad? Or do you feel excited for our tutorial today? Comment in our comment section. How are you feeling right now? Yeah. So, um, let us know your reaction, your feeling, or your emotion right now using um, the, the emoticon. Yes, you can uh, click. Uh, our icons, our reacts, or you can type in on our comment section. What do you feel? Do you feel happy, excited? How is your Tuesday? Because I quote Tutor Alvin, I am very excited every Tuesday because Tuesday is extra special because it's our AF phenomenal experience, right, Tutor Alvin? Yeah, I totally agree. Every Tuesday is a is Juice English Day, a very exciting day for all of us. Another learning while having fun that is correct and okay you know, i love the comment here of daniela feeling the heat yeah it's oh yeah <laughs> you know that's double meaning but right now it's literally very hot because of our uh temperature our um climate climate our um weather right now it's so hot even here in manila for alvin i don't know there in pampanga if it's the same but according to them, it's 44 degrees today and it's so hot and everyone should be careful you should drink a lot of water and you should take uh ano ba? take a bath for a shower for like three times to avoid and to fight the heat because it's really hot yeah so last time we talked about uh actually last week is week five right week yes. five and that is about the critical approaches in writing a critic and just in time for us to award or to recognize our AF Phenomenal student for Week 5. And she is, Tutor Aaron. Our AF Phenomenal student is none other than, for Quarter 3, Week 5, is, drum roll, <laughs> Jenny Yabut from Santa Maria High School, Makabebe SDO, Pampanga. Yes, wow. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations, Jenny. So I hope um, you'll keep it up and keep doing great in AF. In AF. If you want to be one of our AF Phenomenal students, don't forget, forget to be active in our recitation, in our game, and don't forget to share, to share our live post today. Yeah. So let's have a fast run through of our discussions. First, last um, in la week one, we discussed the academic language use from various disciplines. Yes, for our first week, we had academic language. Sorry, second week, types of text structure. And week three, the techniques in summarizing variety of academic text. Week four, the thesis statement and outlining reading texts. 
Okay. At napaka-fresh pa ng ating week 5 wherein we talk about the critical approaches in writing a critic. And for the sixth week, we will be talking about writing the reaction paper, review, oh. or critic. Why do we give ourselves a round of applause for making it this far? It's already our sixth week, everyone. Let's, let's clap our hands for ourselves. Yeah, that's right. So we are now on writing the reaction paper review or critic because it seems that this is the application of what we have discussed last time because we're we're focused more on theoretical basis or on the principles, okay, on how we should critic, okay, what are the different approaches. But now, Tutor Aaron, our focus is... Yes, writing the reaction paper, oh. review, and critic. We will not end only on the theoretical uh, manner, but we will let you apply all yeah. your learning. And I'm so, excited, for Alvin, because today we will be again learning another perspective. And what is that perspective? Okay. Our mouth for this Alvin. week is... Da -da -da -da. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> No, that means the next slide. All what right. do we need to know? We need to know the... Okay, and that is about writing. To write an objective or balanced review or critic of a work of art, an event, or a program. Yes, so... and we hope that you are excited to... Uh... Uh, experience our learning today. So what is new for us? Yeah, but before that, Tutor Aaron, uh, Tutor Aaron I know um, your AF teachers um, assigned you already for another performance task, and that is writing a reaction paper, right? The question okay. is, how will be learning it in this episode? Okay? Yes. So we will be enriching you with uh uh here in this topic let's now go i'm excited for this part because every beginning of our uh, session we are having a short game and for our short game today i hope you're all ready you just have to guess the reaction of uh, the persons in the picture that we are showing you next slide let's see so they'll just be guessing the reaction, right? The yes, so give the us the reaction. But before anything else, are you ready? Our yeah. are phenomenal you ready? A phenomenal students. You know, so children, I'm like, mga thumbs up and heart. Yes, yeah. I don't think that everyone has already shared our live today. No, our target yes. is 50 to 100,000 viewers. So help us get that views for today. Yeah. Give it's us a spread. heart. Yes, a heart or a like for us to know if you are ready for our game. I think they're ready, Tutor Alvin. Yeah, this is the first one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is that reaction? <laughs> yeah. Can we read it from our um, comment section? We're waiting for the answers of our AF Phenomenal students on the comment section. What is being portrayed of this beautiful lady here? Mm. What do you think? At least one word to describe yeah, what, her. A word will do. How do you can you uh imitate that shooter, Alvin? <laughs> What's that? Where's my phone? Use my phone. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, there, there are already answers, Tutor Alvin. I think you can do the honors in reading the answers. Okay, so uh, Rafael Faye shocked. Giancarlo okay. shocked. Surprised, sabi ng iba. So most of them answered shocked. And I think that's correct, right? Okay. She is absolutely shocked. Okay. <laughs> Probably sure the good news or she saw uh, really? uh, good news. Uh, and yeah, good news that made her surprised. Next. How about this one? What does she feel here? Or what do you think is her reaction? Comment now to our comment section. Go. Yes. Alvin. Okay. okay. <laughs> if if the if the first lady, okay, on um on the previous picture was shocked, or maybe she received a good news. I don't know. In this, in this one, <laughs> only this person received a bad news. On the other hand, so yeah, 
<laughs> That's why she's re- reacting that way. Yeah. Okay, so, so there are already answers to Dr. Alvin. Disappointed, according to Giancarlo. And we have here uh, Jasmine unhappy, disappointed, disappointed. Okay. For them, most of them, that that lady or that woman portrays disappointment. <laughs> yes. So someone answered sad. Or disappointed, and I think either of the answers, uh, yeah. either of the answers are act- is actually correct. So either sad or disappointed, and we hope that you're not sad today. Okay, yeah, we're here to make you happy and to make you learn. And next picture, what do you think is the next picture, Tutor Alvin? <laughs> yeah. Oh <gasps> wow. <laughs> so what does this person feel? Yeah, because on the Facial configuration of a person, okay? You can oh, determine like already, it. right? Like the... configuration. <laughs> yeah, that's our word for today. The facial configuration. configuration. <laughs> the configuration of the so act, of the brows, right? of the I mean, eyes, okay, of the cheeks. Figure it. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. Happy what according to divine. Okay. Surprise, Happy. Happy. Mira. Surprise. Bulaga, sabi, di ba? <laughs> Amazed. Happy. So, <laughs> those are correct. Moving on to the next picture, I think. We still have another picture. And our next picture is... Okay, how about this one? What do you think is the... <laughs> what do you think is the reaction of the lady here? Everyone, comment below your answers. Go! Okay, somebody answered happy, amazed, according to Erica happy, Gutierrez. Amazed. Surprised. Bobo, happy. To Marshall, Bulan, surprised. To Mark, surprised. Joyce, delighted. happy. Malyari, delighted. Uh, Gia, happy or excited. And I think all your answers are correct. Happy, excited, delighted. All of those answers are, are correct. correct. And we should all be happy and excited and delighted for the next Always part of excited. our life. Positive. How about this one? <laughs> Yo, I love that, sir. Every what? Time... <laughs> Every time I discuss the action paper, inuuna ko na sa kanila yung mga samples na yan because I don't want to, to get disappointed once I task them once I assign them to write a reaction paper and I'm telling them, I'm warning them, I don't want to receive reaction papers like those things. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think uh, Do these people are feeling there in the picture? <laughs> I think most of our students actually connect to this because they yes. have uh, undergone this and once in their lives experienced this. What do you think? Our A of Phenomenal students, go! Yeah, I have mean, the only answer. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know if they know the feeling or they, they actually they it's relatable to them. <laughs> yeah, they, they maybe once in their life, once in their um um in their lifetime they uh experience they sent this one to their teacher who, who asked them to submit a reaction paper and then my reaction, ma'am. I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, <laughs> somebody answered paper. surprised, shocked, shocked. Nagulat po, sabi ni Joshua. What else? <laughs> Nagulat. Yes, you know, actually, um, I don't know if how are we gonna decipher this, but you know, I think this is mixed emotions because when you are given this assignment, I think all of our students uh, are confused, shocked, and uh, ano ba, Getting crazy about it because they they don't know how to make one or some of them don't. Yeah, know how to make that's one. correct. They're unfamiliar, but the question is, okay, let's say mixed emotions. But what do you think are these things that you are seeing right now? Although we have already mentioned them a short while ago, if what are they? But uh, uh, are you familiar with this? We would just like to check to double check if you know these. What are these papers that you are seeing right now in the picture? There's someone answered frustrated to the album. Oh, yeah, no? wow. student. Mo to. <laughs> <laughs> they are frustrated. What do you think, our uh, AF Enable buddies? What are these papers here? Have you encountered such before? How did you deal with them? <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Reaction paper. And okay. that is... <laughs> Kasi binanggit mo na kanina eh. That Kaya. is correct. Reaction paper. You know the reason, Tutor Alvin and our AF Inamal students, the reason behind on why those faces are there, simply because I know that in our students can relate to this. That when we are given reaction paper, we are like confused or having mixed emotions because some of us do not know how to do it. That's why in today's session, we will be helping you. Right, Tutor Alvin? Yeah, okay. In writing the reaction paper review and critic, and please refrain from submitting those kind of output. Yeah, they are literally reaction paper, but we are not looking or, or we are not waiting for those paper, for, for that paper with a lot of facial reactions. <laughs> so. So today we'll be focusing on how you will, how are you going to compose, okay, to, to craft your reaction paper following basic steps or what are the essentials in writing a reaction paper. But first, because you want to make sure, mind. yeah, yes, you want to make what? sure that you will not put their pictures on the reaction oh, oh. paper itself when their teachers ask them to submit one. <laughs> yeah. So now let us first define what a reaction paper is. Should I, Iran? Reaction papers, let's see, what is it? The meaning is, tan-tanan, may pa-drum roll talaga tayo, na medyo yeah. may pa-ano uh, muna, eh, pa-suspense yung ating ano eh. Reaction paper is a form of paper writing in which the writer expresses his ideas and opinions about what has been, what has been uh, read or seen. Mm -hmm. So these papers are being um being written by people who would like to um, give criticisms or who would like to criticize or would like to make a reaction or say critical uh, explanation on something that they have read or that they have seen uh, in any form, maybe in a movie form, in a book form, in, uh, let's say, even food. No, So uh, that's why reaction paper is happening. In our school setting, our teachers are asking us to make reaction paper out of a novel, out of an experience like field trip. Have you encountered making a field, uh, a reaction paper out of the field trip? Asang <laughs> kamay. <laughs> yeah, so, so... That's what you call that paper. Yes, you tell them. Yeah, so the action paper is evaluated, right, due to the writer's communication skills and only then due the... Uh, due to the unique ideas and the content. So this paper writing may be formal or informal or two pages long. So what important here in the reaction paper is that they should include okay, literally the reaction, their responses, opinion, okay, or maybe the, their, um, their review, okay, on the particular um, text, video, material, they have seen or watched or even read. Yes, as we continue with our discussion, that's uh, what we call reaction paper. Yeah. So, as you said, you know, Alvin, it's there. Yeah. Remember, yeah. So, as all essays, a reaction paper comprises of the very um, familiar parts mm -hmm. of any <laughs> text. We have the IBC, and that is, you know, Aaron. The, those are the introduction, the yeah. body, and the conclusion. So we all know that in every essay that we are doing, we should always have our introduction, our uh, body, and a conclusion. You have to make sure that these are also uh, made properly and interestingly so that your readers can connect and can relate to what you are reacting to. Yeah, remember that. So just like any essay, formal essay or academic essays, we are following the IBC, the Introduction Body Conclusion. And the other question is, what should be included in each part? Here it is. Okay. In introduction, the writer states the main premise. And? And in a body, the reactor expresses his ideas. And in conclusion, it summarizes the result. So with this definition, it gives us an idea that in our parts, no, we also have to be careful about them. So in the introduction, you should also have your premise or your introductory of what will your reaction all about and which yes. part of um, 
of that specific entity will be given evaluation or critiquing or criticizing. Now, in the body, you have to show your support. Your, I mean, your supporting ideas, your supporting details, be it opinion, be it um, statistics or support or research ideas, but anything that you would want to, uh, to fight for or to prove for. And in the conclusion, you can summarize, you can repeat your thought, you can um, end it by giving your notion or your support. Either you support or you, either you contradict um, the entity that you are, or the paper or the work that you are criticizing or you're reacting to. Yeah, that is true, Dr. Aaron. So in addition, in, 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 in your introduction, aside from including your main premise, you can also give a, a, a short or a brief background of the text, okay, or of the material you've read or seen, okay? So you can tell the title of it, the author, or what's, what's about it. And then Correct. all your reactions, all your, um, what I mean, all your reviews, e either the strengths, the weaknesses, and even the recommendation you would like to, to address to the author or, or the, the owner of that material, you can put those things in the body, okay, in the body. And you, you should end, okay, your review using the conclusion wherein you'll be summarizing all the key points all yeah, all the key points you've mentioned in the intro and the body. Yeah. So we have here that it's not a summary, right? Reaction paper is not a summary. When you're writing a reaction paper, this is a usual uh, confusion that we, uh, even us, even the students, are uh, usually um, confused about. No, you, you should not be confused with reaction paper and a book report. Okay, in the book report, you are using the summary. Definitely, there's a part there where you summarize uh, the text or the movie or the, the book that you have read. But in the reaction paper, although it seems like you are summarizing, in the reaction paper, it's more on uh, your idea and your thought about that specific thing. What is your uh, take? Okay, are you sometimes pro to that idea yes. that you brought up in the introduction? Or are you supporting the idea that you brought up in the introduction? That's, uh, that's what you're going to put in your conclusion. And remember, you do not copy-paste Okay, the reaction paper. It should be original. Although in the body, you can get supports or you can cite some supporting details that can help you in your claims. Okay, that's okay, but do not forget to avoid, still avoid plagiarism and do not forget to cite it properly. Yeah, in reaction paper, you are free to give your reactions, either positive or negative. Just like what Tudor, um, Aaron mentioned, whatever your claim is, either it's positive or negative, it is pro or against um, the the material you've read or seen, it's very important that you give evidence. You give or, evidence or proof to your claims. But then let's remember that reaction paper, it's not only about writing your reactions, okay? Your thoughts and impressions. Yeah, it's the, the major component of a reaction paper, right, Tutor Iron? We should include the, our reactions, our thoughts, impressions, opinion, or even our... um. What do we call this? Our argument, okay, against or in favor of the material we're critiquing. But we need to follow an appropriate structure. So yes. make structure sure to follow the following. Yeah. That's it. So what are the things? First, Dr. Iran? So on um, some additional information with regard um reaction paper, you know, despite the fact that you are writing about your reaction. So we are avoiding pit the reactions that we saw in our game, in our icebreaker a short while ago. Thoughts and impressions, you still need to follow an appropriate structure. So you have to make sure that number one, read the material carefully. Because if you read the material, it's a requirement because how are you going to react on something if you don't really have any background at all about that specific thing. It's like watching a film or reacting to a film that you don't even know about it. Okay? So you have to make sure 
to know the details and to read, to watch the material carefully. That's it. Yeah. Next. So let's proceed now to the second one. Okay. Come up with a thesis statement. Come up with a thesis statement. We already talked, okay, about what a thesis statement is, right? What a thesis statement. Remember, this is the main idea of the essay, of, of the article. So it's very important if you are critiquing, reacting, or reviewing a particular material, come up with a thesis statement that must be present or that must be seen in your introductory paragraph. Okay? So we need to come up with a thesis statement so that in the first paragraph, the your claim is obvious. Yung pinaglalaban mo is kitang-kita na. Your main reaction, your main review can be seen in the first paragraph. Yun? So you can use your notes to formulate a central idea. You will develop in your further work. So then put it in one sentence and make it your thesis statement. Remember that? That is correct. And second, no, in relation to what we talked about before, you should also apply the idea of composing an outline. Since we are writing an essay here, it will be helpful to make your own outline. Yeah. Next is construct your paper, right? You have to construct now your paper. So only when all the preparations are done, start writing a paper itself. After you have composed your main thesis statement and then you wrote, um, you prepared an outline, now it's time for you to begin writing your reaction paper. Begin um, filling in our each paragraph but must, based on your outline, diba? Right? So what must be present yes. in the introduction? What must be present in your body paragraph one, body paragraph two? And then, of course, your in your conclusion. Yeah? That is true. So... We can see here, Tutor Alvin, that in writing a reaction paper, it's not just as simply as, Sir, why don't can I just put my picture here and my reaction yes. so that I right away see the reaction to my face? No. It's also like an educational uh, way of uh, reacting on something. So, kita nyo na, ang reacting, reacting to a paper is not as simple as going to your Facebook Facebook account and post something about yes. something. Okay? So you really have to think about them and you have to follow different processes. And now, definitely some of you are asking, as we uh, told you, you know, that there are different parts of um, what do you call that? An, a reaction paper, the introduction, the body, and conclusion. Let's talk more about them. So for the first part of your paper, remember, should contain information on the author and the topic. As what Tutor Alvin um, showed you or told you a short while ago, you need to write down the main ideas, the thesis statement, and yeah. highlight the main points of the paper. You can use a direct quotation if needed, or and you have to avoid, definitely, your personal opinion in this section. And aside from the direct quotation, you can also use definitely some um, styles like in question form or you can also include songs from the lyrics but you have to make sure they are connected to the topic that you are going to talk about. So you have to take note of those things in the first part, in the introduction, the thesis statement, the topic that you're going to talk about and a little background about the author. And I would just like to add for that in, for your introduction, aside from indicating or including the, the the basic or the most important information of the material, the author and the topic and the main ideas, it's also very important that you, yeah, um, Chudo Aaron mentioned that we have to give catchy, okay, um, beginning or introdu introductory paragraph, just like any academic or formal essay. So you may use different um, kinds of lead, okay, lead paragraphs. So we can catch the attention of our reader. So right. let's move on now to the second part. So the second part should contain your personal thoughts on the subject. On the subject. So maybe here you can already express your opinion, your impression, okay? Or your um, critic, okay? Your critic number one, okay? The idea number one. You would like to, to, to say or to express on the paper or on the material you've watched or seen. 
So you have to focus on the main problem or address all of them and describe your opinion. Because definitely, why we are creating a review? Because somehow we we have noticed uh, uh, a problem, right? A problem. And through our reaction paper, we would like to raise that problem, give suggestion to that problem, and for it to be solved. That's right. On the other hand, sometimes... Uh, aside from the problems, or sometimes we would just like to make a good impact or review on that specific thing. So let's say you saw a positive side or a learning or an epiphany, okay? You realize something, a good point that you want to share with the world that other people won't see it right away, then better if you make a reaction paper. Okay. So, moving on. Okay, another thing is that explain how the material can relate to the modern world. So the learning that you got from it, the problem that you brought up, you have to make sure that they are connected to the present situation, to the society, mm. or separate individuals. You're writing a reaction paper not only just to react for, to it, but to make sure that other people can also learn and benefit from it. Back your statements with sources if needed and make conclusions whether you support the author or not so in the body you have to make sure that you're not only reacting to it based purely on 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 your opinions although sometimes uh you give your you give your opinions but you have to make sure that your opinions are logical are just and right for the other people because to travel but it, it's okay to react so probably you um it's it's i mean it's good to react, but you have to make sure that you are reacting with a purpose, right? It's not just, although it's opinionated, parang ang pangit naman na mag react ka lang just to destroy one work, no, one reputation. So this reaction paper is also uh, taught to us to become responsible and to become deep and critical. Yeah, but then in giving critic, in giving reactions, in giving comments, let's practice um, to be constructive always, constructive yeah. criticism. So yeah. let us promote constructive criticism. In spite we see negative thing on the material we've read, we've seen, still let us express this um, negativity in a positive way. What does it mean? So you can say it. it it's not good in a in a nice way, right? By yes. giving um, enough recommendation, giving suggestion. How would it be improved? Okay, and how um, will it still um, cater? The, the people or the future readers or consumers of this material. So yes. moving on, are some recommendations that we can give to our AF phenomenal student when they begin writing their reaction paper. First is, this is very important, read the original article carefully. That is very important and highlight the main ideas and points you want to discuss. Always remember, you cannot give judgment to something you don't understand. Remember that. Correct. Okay. And you did not uh, have a good background about it. Okay? So Tama. be careful. Be careful. Yeah. So you have to read carefully the original article and make sure you understand it. Just mm -hmm. like in life, right? Parang mahirap naman makisawsaw, magbigay ng komento kung ikaw mismo hindi mo naman alam ang nagaganap. Right? Oh, I, 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 can, I can think fake news here. Right? There are a lot of yeah. fake news on yeah. the internet. Be careful. Do not react right away. Yeah, Think before react. you click. Ayan. Yeah, react lang react. Read the that. articles. Fact check before you give your... Baka dada ka ng dada, di ba? Comment ka ng comment. Mali-mali pala ang mga reactions mo. They are inappropriate. They are not intended. Okay. Yes. Next. Another thing is that use various sources to make your statement more argumentative. And... Describe your point of view and back it with additional information if needed. Use vivid examples so for your readers to understand it more. Use vivid examples, clear examples. Don't use information that are not true, okay? That are untrue, that are fake, okay? Para sa pagpili ng tao yan, kailangan yung totoo tayo, di ba? Doon tayo sa merong magandang, um, ayoko na magsalita. <laughs> sa pagpili ng tao, katiwalaan, kailangan yung Ano, diba? Yung legit, yung totoo. So you have to be careful about them. Yon. Yeah, so it's not enough that it is said, but it should be done, right? Oy. It should be done. 
it should not only be said, but it should be done too. It should not only be expressed, but it should be performed, right? So just like in writing your reaction paper, it's not enough that the the text is beautiful. Okay, the text is amazing. The question is how amazing it is, how beautiful it is. Give me example. Give us concrete evidences for your claims. All right. So moving on. Another, another, and our last recommendation to our AF phenomenal students in writing the reaction paper is. Yeah, use various sources to make your statement more argumentative. Various sources don't focus in just one. All right. Yes. Okay. Not in relationship, ah. But <laughs> I mean, not do not focus in one source because there are you need to review a lot of um related sources so that you can yes. make you can strengthen your reaction paper. You can strengthen your argument so use yes. a lot of sources sabi nila collect 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 and collect not people ha collect and collect yeah. legit sources and use from them yeah so let's go now to right. our most exciting part <laughs> i am so, so we're done with the discussion part always remember uh, that what a reaction paper right is a form of paper writing in which the writer expresses his ideas and opinions about what has been read or seen and it has the following parts we have the introduction the body and the conclusion so you have to be careful about it thank you very much and we hope you learned from that moment and thank you for all for all your reactions huh? and let's now proceed to our most really most awaited part tutor alvin let's do this Okay, the, for this, huh? <laughs> and this is your AF moment to shine. Are you ready to shine, our AF phenomenal students? This is your moment. Let's go. So, what should be done in this part? So, you just I mean, need this part, to... yes, Alvin, is to I'll be giving them, we will be giving them pictures of films. And if they can uh, predict the title, then you have to comment on our comment section the title of the movie. Then Give your one-word reaction or description on the following oh. movies. Hindi namin kailangan ng facial reaction. Na. Kailangan namin yeah. one reaction or description about the movie. Give us a title and your reaction. Question yeah. is, are you ready, A of Phenomenal Buddies? A yeah, of are you ready? <laughs> are you yeah. our buddies? <laughs> yeah, as your buddy, yeah. To the Aaron, I am ready. And I so am, we are our A of Phenomenal Buddies. So they are ready. Let's go with our first. Picture. First movie. And I know you're familiar with this movies. What is okay. this? What's the title? And what is your reaction? <laughs> if you already watched this one. You know this, okay. Alvin? Have you watched this already? <laughs> what did you feel when you watched this? To be honest, you're the Aaron, I'm not familiar with this one. Are you sure? I think they're yeah. familiar. What's the Yeah, but I know our AF phenomenal students are fan of this kind of um of this show oh, or of this film. Reaction. Okay. Did somebody answer already? Waiting for your answers. Parang matampagal. Ayan. Someone answered already, Tutor Alvin. Kat Gabehan. Ah, all of us are dead. Ah, yeah, yeah. I've I've scanned uh, some previews of it, but I, I would never watch it. Sorry. Yes. Yes. All so, of us are dead. And the comment, is, her reaction is uh, scared. scared. And it's that's scary. correct. Uh, Kat Gabohan. Yeah, hey. About Congrats. survival. That's correct. All of us are dead. Ang galing, ah. Familiar kayo. Next. Go to the Alvin. Let's proceed to the next. Oh, ayan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know this, you Alvin? Yeah. <laughs> You know, so, I was actually excited in this part because I know that everyone can relate to this. What's the title and what's your reaction while watching this? So, others are getting excited. Oh, yes, yeah. Your answer, everyone. Ano pa sila sa all of us are dead? All of us are dead. <laughs> okay. Terrifying. Second one. This is great game. Talking. Yeah. Sabi niya, Faye. It is exciting. At the same time, it is scary. Right. Yes, that is correct. Next. Nervous. Let's proceed to the next one. How about oh. this one? I think this is a Filipino film, no? Yes, that, it uh, is. I I think a uh, little background. This is the highest, ano ba, gross, ano, highest grossing film of all time, no? Malaki. Ang kinita ng palabas na ito. Marami nakarelate dito. 
What do you think is the title of this film? And what was your reaction when you first watched this? First, because I know others watch this for like many times. Oy, according to ano, Tutor Tony, Idol daw niya. Si oh. uh, akala ko siya yun. <laughs> Ay, oh, <my> God. <laughs> Ang Alden ng, <laughs> ng Itulay. Oh, somebody answered. Ang bilis ni Faye. Rafael Faye Nota. Sabi niya, hello, love, goodbye. Correct. Sad. Wendy Alvin. Correct. Yeah, it is. Okay. Sad. Yeah, sad. 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 love story. I yes. think that is between Joy and Nathan. Right. Yes, no? <laughs> How many Tutor Alvin. What's that? Tutor Iran? How many times did you watch this? I watched it um three times. First the <laughs> first one is in the in the cinema. Okay, the, the other one. Oh, the other one Netflix. The other one yeah. TV. <laughs> yeah. In okay. TV. So let's move on to the fourth one. Yeah, most of them they are sad when they watch sad, this movie. Heartbroken yung iba. How about this okay. one? This is actually mm-hmm. a phenomenal film. What do you think is the title of this? This is so famous. It became famous back then, no? When it was actually released. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go our A of Phenomenal Students. What do you think is the title of this? And uh, what was your reaction when you watched this? <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, no? There's something to do with... Oh, somebody answered already. Gia Manensala Reyes answered... Bird, Bird box. box. And she said, it's sad. Somebody answered, scary and exciting. Yeah, hey, thank yes. you very much. Let's and make our let's... last. Let's make this fast, Shooter Alvin. Okay, our last is... Oh, oh yeah. Before. <laughs> what is the title of this, everybody? And what was your reaction when you watched this? What was the feeling when you watched this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Somebody answered Encanto. Is it correct, Tutor Alvin? Is it Encanto? Yes, Encanto yes. is the right answer. And Kat said that her reaction was magical. Magical. That's her, that's her description wow. about, which is actually true. Magical. And you are correct, Kat. Congratulations. And why do we give ourselves a round of applause for being active today and for joining our game? Yeah. So give yourselves a big, big round of applause. And all right. Okay, we're done with our week six, quarter three. And that's about writing reaction paper, review, or critic. So, let's proceed to the next one. That yeah, and so I so, hope, okay, um, we'll, see each, uh, we'll see each other again next week. All right? And that's it for today. Thank you for your participation. A, hey, uh, phenomenal students. This has been Tutor Alvin. And I am Tutor Aya, Tutor Aya, and Tutor Aya, and we are your <laughs> I you love that. <laughs> yeah. So see you next Tuesday for more thrilling adventures. Always remember to be AF phenomenal. Be AF fantastic. And be AF powerful. In English for academic and professional purposes. Only here on Italy Live. See you next time, our AF phenomenal students.